Welcome everybody to this video. We want to add the rest of the world of this game items. So what I'm going to do right now, just going to create the first thing here. I'm just going to create the boxes. So I'm just going to select the sprite here. Now see we got a single sprite. So I need to split it into one, two, three, four, five items. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to go to change the sprite mode into multiple and select the sprite editor. I'm just going to select slice and choose automatic here. Click slice. So right now we got one, two, three, four, five slices. They are automatically sliced. And I'm just going to click apply right now. And this is going to extract four sprites. This is the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the last one here. And this is perfect. First thing I'm, go I'm just going to make here, I'm just going to go to my scene and insert layers. So basically, if we go layers here, we got, if we go to the player, we can see here it's on the default layer. I go to the camera, it's on the default layer. So I'm just going to divide my work into different layers in order to work with. So basically, I'm just going to go here. Select the player and say I'm just going to add a new layer and just going to name it as the background layer for the background and also additional layer for the main for the ground. I need to make another one for the ground. I gonna, I'm just going to explain this later on and also we need the main panel the main layer and also we need the top layer. So we got one, two, three, four layers. I'm just gonna go to the player and add add the player to the main layer. I'm just gonna select the player again and select the selecting the scale tool. And you can choose here 0 0.5, 0 0.5 because I would just want to scale it a little bit to 3.3 three. let me put it because I want to scale it a little bit make it more smaller alright I can select this tool right now zoom in using scroll on the mouse and move my player whatever you want on the screen so if you play we got uh, the player in the place where you put the screen on you can select the camera and see where is the player right now all right, I need to add the packet ground. So in order to add the packet ground, I need to create a new empty game object and name it as back ground. And I'm just gonna give it a packet ground layer. And I need to add two sprite renderer to it and select the backer ground image, like you see here. All right, we got the background image, and you can give each of these players a certain layer. So I can go to the player, as you can see here, and I can see also the game object. But if you run the game, you can see here the background is above the the player. So what we can do here, basically, we just go to the game object, name it as background click enter and just gonna select the 2d navigate from 2d to 3d and click on the blue in the blue uh, arrow here and just drag it to the left a little bit you can see the player is below the background and that is what is basically I'm just gonna do here. Also, I, know I need to select back to the 2D mode and choose in the scale mode here and just scale up the environment a little bit. Just make it fit the screen. Alright, so we got a background. If you run the application, you're gonna see the player and the background perfectly tuned. 
Uh, next, we need to add the boxes. So, let me just do the following. I'm just going to go to the player and move it to the top by cho choosing the selection tool and just move it to the top a little bit. I need to add boxes. So, in order to add a box, we need to create an object container for that, ob for that box. So, I'm just going to create an empty game object. I'm just going to name it as box game object and click enter. We get the box. I need to add a sprite render to this game object by selecting a sprite here. Double click on it. Select the box again. I need, I need to move a little bit below the plier just to make it here. Alright. That is fine. I need also to add the coins. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna copy the box and just gonna name it to coin. And go to the coin and change its sprite to the coin image here. But notice the coin is a little bit big. So I need to move it to the top. And you can click shift in the keyboard or using the scale tool here to just scale down a little bit the, the size of the coin as we can see here. It's perfect. I can save the scene right now. Click play and it sounds perfect but we don't have any physics applied to these game objects. In the next video we need to apply the physics to these objects and make him live. So, see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching.